Hi, I'm Leroy Cunningham, Chief of Police for Bay City IFD Police Department. Drinking and driving among high school teenagers is one of the leading causes of death today. It is imperative that our high school students become more educated and aware of the dangers of drinking and driving. So, on behalf of the Bay City High School video and audio production class and the Bay City IFD Police Department, we hope that this video will serve as an awareness for all of our students to become more responsible in their daily dealings. Good evening, I'm Sebastian Hollins. And I'm Cecilia Kimball. Our top story tonight, at least one young man and woman are confirmed deceased and another one is in critical condition, and a drunk driver behind bars. Bay City Channel 9's Jinx Studios, Nathan Montgomery is on the scene. Thank you, Cecilia. As the skies have grown dark here, so has the mood. Many residents believe this is just one more avoidable tragedy in a long line of misfortune. Details are sketchy at this point, but what I can tell you is there is at least one fatality and an arrest is in the process of being made. We have footage taken by local videographers. I must warn you, this is very graphic by nature. All right, just one more time, dude. Whoa, guys, are you seeing this? Hey, you gotta go to 911. Whoa, go get it! <laughs> Sir, are you okay? Sir? Oh my god. Thank you. We are here on scene with Officer Summers with an update. Officer Summers, can you tell us exactly what has happened? Yes, through our investigation, we have determined that the driver at fault was traveling at an unsafe speed. He approached his turn incorrectly and struck another motorist head on, killing him instantly. It is uncertain at this time whether the driver who caused the accident was intoxicated. However, alcohol appears to have been a contributing factor in the crash. Regardless of the cause of the crash or criminal charges against the driver at fault, one thing remains certain. Many lives will be permanently affected by this terrible incident, and it could have easily have been avoided. Wow. Thank you. Please stay tuned to Channel 9 for further updates. Thanks, Nathan. Our hearts go out to all involved. We'll be sure to update you as more details come in. On to other news, the White House Press Committee has announced that there will be a major... You get this? Bro, I want to thank. You're the one going to school with a football scholarship. 
Let's go! Bro, you... Oh my gosh, I swear you really suck. Bro, you not beat an organ. You really suck. If I had Bama, I'd destroy you. Do not beat an organ, man. Alright. Hold on, now when is it done, I'm finna seal the deal. You'll see. Alright, right, let's go. Hurry up, dude. <laughs> Bro, he's gonna make it anyway. The kicker's got ice in his veins. Ice? <laughs> hey, hold on, let me get this. Hello? What's good? Oh, for real? We'll be there. Alright, love. Love you too. Hey, man. We're gonna go to this? I mean, they got DJ Scales. We gotta go. I know, man. I mean, you wanna go? Well, yeah. Plus, there's not so much more wood I can do tonight anyway. So, so you think you're funny? Uh, obviously. What What we gonna do about that car? <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> About that time, it's three o'clock, I gotta go.
All right, man. Come on, we gotta go over here, take some fingerprints. This way. Come on, we ain't got our day. Moving up slow. Let's go, man. He ran by back. Hey, uh, we'll take this. Sorry, say, put it in. What do we change? Yeah, it's all right. I'm Sebastian Hollins. And I'm Cecilia Kimball. Our top local story, a suspected teenage drunk driver charged with manslaughter and aggravated DUI is currently in the process of being trialed at Matagorda County Courthouse. Bay City's Channel 9's Jinx Studios, Nathan Montgomery, is on the scene. It was May 26th when an 18-year-old future graduate of Bay City High School collided with oncoming traffic, killing two and critically injuring another. Prosecutors say he was under the influence and registered a blood alcohol level of 0.12%, four hundredths of one percent, over the legal driving limit. We have recently learned that none of the passengers were wearing seat belts, which led to the tragic death of a 17-year-old young woman, paralyzing another. The second young man had already accepted a scholarship offer to play baseball for UTR. The driver in question played wide receiver for the local high Two teenagers will be in court today to face charges stemming from a deadly drunk driving crash. And the deadly consequences of drunk driving. This time, investigators say it involves a Salinas teenager accused of killing his best friend. Troopers say alcohol was involved. In Gracia, a community is mourning. I just spoke with two young ladies. Silence. We had over 180 years of life taken. Future life, not 180 years lived, but 180 years of future life taken and two of those were my wife and daughter. Even though they weren't actually in the car at the time of the accident. Here's NBC's Bruce will be in court today to face charges stemming from a deadly drunk driving crash. Even though they weren't actually in the car at the time of the accident. Here's NBC's Bruce. the last two friends in the car with her are now facing criminal charges including reckless endangerment. 